we've taken a look at nearly all of the stunning residences belonging to the royal family, one member of the clan doesn't get as much positive attention. I'm talking about Prince Andrew, and while he has been lucky enough to call the stunning royal lodge home, who knows how long that's gonna last. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. With the UK getting its first new monarch in nearly a lifetime this past weekend after the passing of Queen Elizabeth II and the ascension of King Charles III, soon enough, all eyes will turn to Charles' brother, Prince Andrew to find out what fate might have in store for this disgraced member of the royal family. For years now, Andrew's status as the queen's favorite son has kept him housed on the crown estate. More specifically, a portion of that estate that's known as the Royal Lodge. Andrew has been living there alongside his ex-wife, Sarah Ferguson, ever since the passing of his dear old grandmother back in 2002. And it's from this very 30 room property in Windsor that he's done his level best best to outlast a series of horrendous scandals, many of which involve his association with former friend Jeffrey Epstein. Prior to those shocking revelations and the dissolution of their marriage, Andrew and Sarah used to share yet another property that's only a stone's throw away from Windsor Castle, known as Sunning Hill Park. But that estate, much like Prince Andrew's current reputation, is now in shambles. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and in this one, we're looking at where Prince Andrew calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. In a leafy and very well-off corner of Her Majesty's Empire lies Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's former family home, a gigantic mansion sitting in Sunning Hill Park. For a very long time, this house, which is located on the edge of Windsor Great Park, stood simply as a testament for the vast wealth of the royals, with no full-time occupants to call it home. But then, in 1986, this 12-bed, 12-bathroom mansion was given to Andrew and his new bride, Sarah Ferguson, as a wedding gift by Elizabeth, seemingly confirming the rumors that Andrew was the queen's golden child. Andrew and Sarah would live here together throughout all 10 years of their marriage. But in 1986, the couple separated after Andrew was revealed to have been having an affair. The prince would move on while Sarah stayed at Sunning Hill raising their two daughters. But as Sarah spiraled into debt and alcohol abuse, increasingly larger areas of this palatial estate were shut up and boarded off. Six years later in 2002, Sarah and her children would finally move out of this neglected space and head off for a new chapter in America. Unfortunately, it wouldn't take and by 2008, she was moving back in with Prince Andrew. Andrew, but that's getting a little ahead of ourselves. As for what befell the Sunning Hill estate, well, Andrew was apparently in no great hurry to sell the property once Sarah left. It sat empty on the market for five years after being vacated and was finally bought in 2007 when a billionaire spent three million pounds over the asking price, which was already set very high at 12 million pounds. Securing 15 million pounds for a crumbling estate turned more than a few eyes over in the UK media. But the palace has always insisted that the deal Andrew received was legitimate and that he was merely fortunate to get such a good price for the manor. The fact that the prince was a regular visitor to Kazakhstan, the buyer's home country, and even went goose hunting with the president there who just happened to be the father-in-law of the man buying the house had nothing to do with it, obviously. So what's going on with the property now? Well, the estate's new owner totally demolished the original building and is now nearing the completion of its replacement, which has reportedly been super up with all the modern add-ons you might expect. This includes a gym with a steam bath, ice and sauna rooms, and even an epic-sized library. There's also a large split-level terrace for entertaining, a sun deck, a fountain, as well as a walled kitchen garden. Further out on the premises are tennis courts, a four-car garage, guardhouses, and staff quarters as well. 
The strange thing is that even though construction was apparently completed in 2021, no one has yet to move into this property since it was sold over 15 years ago now. Will anyone ever call the Sunning Hill Estate home once again? We'll just have to wait and see. But for now, let's head over to Prince Andrew's current home, the Royal Lodge. The history of Prince Andrew's longtime residence, the Royal Lodge, dates back to the mid-17th century. But it wasn't until the 1930s that it would receive its first royal occupants in the form of King George VI and the Queen Mother, and then Duke and Duchess of York, who used the space as a weekend retreat. Over the years, the Queen Mother would make several additions to the property, including a mini cottage, which was gifted to Queen Queen Elizabeth, then Princess Elizabeth in 1932. Even following the King's death in 1952, the estate was largely used as a grace and favor home by the Queen Mother up until she passed away on this very property in March of 2002 with her daughter Elizabeth by her side. Following his grandmother's passing, Prince Andrew would move in and he's been calling this grade 2 listed residence with its 30 rooms and many incredible features home ever since. Highlights of this property are said to include a sunny conservatory, multiple grand living rooms, and even an indoor swimming pool. Over the years, we've occasionally been granted a peek inside the premises to discover a host of fantastic amenities, like this piano that a young Princess Elizabeth was photographed playing in 1942. King Charles III also used to enjoy this estate as a young prince. He and his sister Anne would play all throughout the immense grounds of their grandmother's home every chance they could get. But eventually, when Andrew moved in, the other royal family members stopped visiting quite as often. The Duke of York then invested 7.5 million pounds of his own money into renovating the giant Georgian main house with further additions that were said to include a private chapel as well as eight separate additional properties for staff set within its 21 acres of gardens. The prince's family didn't let all that extra space go to waste either. Not only did his ex-wife Sarah move back in with him after her plans in America didn't pan out, but his two daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, both celebrated their wedding receptions at the family home. Fans were offered a further peek inside once Sarah moved in as the Duchess of York loves to share behind the scenes peeks on social media. That includes a look at the beautiful dressing table inside her bedroom, which features a large vanity mirror with double wings topped off with a white and gold flower vase. And once lockdown set in in 2020, she'd share even more of her home life than ever before, including a series of YouTube videos taken from the property's conservatory, a bright and airy room attached to the main house. While yet another clip takes us inside the couple's dining room with decorated concrete floors, burnt orange walls, and a pair of large white wooden doors. In fact, it was thanks to Sarah that we also got a taste of how Andrew likes to unwind at home as she shared this image of him on his birthday, which shows him relaxing with two of their five dogs in the living room with its floor length curtains hanging on the windows and a patterned rug lying on the hardwood floor. Outside, the Royal Lodge includes a massive garden with two wooden benches set under some large trees and Princess Eugenie's personalized swing can also be seen hanging off another nearby tree. When asked to speak about her unusual living arrangement with her ex-husband, Sarah Ferguson would state during an interview on Italian radio, I'm in and out all the time and he's in and out all the time. I believe that the love I have for him and he has for me is just very different from what normal people have. We have great respect and love for each other. It really is our own fairy tale and it's our own lives. How we like to be with total respect and honor to each other. All that's well and good, but now that Charles has ascended the throne, we'll Will he finally bow to public pressure and ostracize Prince Andrew from the royal family, ending his fairy tale existence and booting him from the royal lodge? Well, it's still too early to tell for sure, but you gotta believe something like that just might be in the cards. But for now, that's gonna bring this house tour to a close. Let me know what you thought of Prince Andrew's homes down in the comments and be sure to check out our recent videos on the rest of the royal family's estates. Thanks for tuning in, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all in another video. Bye!